you are new here and you've never seen my face before, my name is Brianna. Welcome to my channel. I put videos out every week on beauty, makeup, tips and tricks and college advice and all that good stuff. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and you can also follow me on all of my social medias and we can be friends. Today's video is Songs of the Week number 11. There is so much good music out this week. Cardi B dropped her album last week and then a bunch of other songs have come out since then and in the last two weeks that I did a Songs of the Week video. So I figured I'd do a quick little Songs of the Week this week and kind of show you guys my favorite songs and things that I am listening to this week and that I have been absolutely obsessed with. So let's just jump right into it. Okay, so like I said before, Cardi B just came out with her album and I am completely obsessed with it. So I'm gonna be showing you guys a few of the songs that I'm obsessed with from her album. The first one I am going to be playing is Be Careful and I'm just so obsessed with this song. I wanna get married like the Curry, Stephen Aisha, she I adore. I gave you everything was mine, it's yours. I want you to live your life, of course, but I hope you get what you're dying for. Be careful with me, do you know what you're doing? Whose feelings that you're hurting and bruising? You won't get the whole with that song. Also, if you're wondering why I'm in such a good mood, it is currently 70 degrees out. It's not very sunny, but it's still like really bright out and like, I uh, love this weather. I'm so excited for the warm weather. You have no idea. Anyway, be careful. Cardi B obsessed with the song. I just like the lyrics, I think, the most. I like what she says. That it's not a threat. It's a warning. Be careful with me. Don't screw me over. And I just like how she says it. I love the lyrics. The beat in the background is obviously amazing the whole album is just put together so well and she has all different types of music on it like it's all rap and hip-hop but there's all different kinds of sounds she's got some Spanish vibes in there she's got some regular beats like and it's just it was just put together really really well and so I am really happy for her and that she's doing really well and that this album is really really good and I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about it but I'm obsessed Ooh, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze Okay, so the next song is a song by Calvin Harris and Dua Lipa. It is called One Kiss. And at first when the song came out, I didn't really like it. And then as I started listening to it more and more and more, I'm like obsessed with it. So playing that next. <laughs> And Calvin Harris honestly Calvin Harris like no matter who he works with or whatever song he puts out he always has a hit I don't know if it's just he just knows like what the music world needs he just is always coming out with the hits and every song he comes out with is just like so good and I don't know but like I said at first I wasn't a huge fan and then as I started look looking as I started listening to it more and more I really really enjoyed it so I'm a fan I think the beat is really good it's kind of more on the chill side like it's not a crazy song, but like it's one of those songs that you could just drive to like on a day like today where it's 70 degrees out and really windows down and oh so uh it's good. It's just that good. Okay, the next song is called A Good Night by John Legend featuring Blood Pop and this is such a feel good song. If you're ever down, not feeling well or like just sad, this is a song that could like boost you up and immediately change all of your feelings. I don't know. Just it could change your day, I feel. Legend and Blood Pop. It's woo! 
it is just like one of those feel good songs. I just like feel like, again, you could drive with this song with your windows open and it could change your mo mode, mode, mood, change your mood immediately and just, oh, I don't know. It's just that good. And like, to be honest, I think it's kind of like atypical of John Legend to come out with a song like this. This is not like his typical sound, I feel. But I'm hoping like he's coming out with an album soon and like maybe his album will be more like funky. I don't know, more jams like this. <laughs> a really huge fan of the song I like that he says like I think I just met my wife and then he goes yeah I said it <laughs> and it's so funny because they're at like a club or something or maybe it's a wedding because if you look at the photo it's like a wedding photo so I don't know but it's pretty funny that he's like I think I just met my wife <laughs> I just think it's funny anyway good song feel good song one of those songs that you know you're feeling all down in the dumps this is the song for you okay the next song I'm gonna play is um, another song by Cardi B this one is called I do this is Cardi B featuring SZA I'm obsessed with this one 15 minutes lasting long as hell let the cause I feel like it bring me down in the so that is I do by Cardi B featuring SZA oh so amazing the attitude is like out of this world <laughs> I don't know, I like what she's saying. Like, I'm gonna do whatever I wanna do. Don't really care. I just love the meaning and the attitude and Cardi B's just got some some really good hits on this album. I'm just like really a fan and she's got some really funny <laughs> lines in the rap part and there's just like some funny parts. So that's really all I have to say. It's just good. I'm obsessed. I don't know. <laughs> okay, the next song I'm going to play is Feelings by Hailey Kiyoko. I haven't been listening to this too much, but I do really like the sound of this song. It's off her new album called Expectations. I know a lot of people have been loving this album. Kyoko. I don't know the song too well, as you could probably tell. I know a few of the words, but not much. But it's definitely a jam. It's so weird. Like, when I first heard her name, I was like, wait, from Disney Channel? Because she used to be on Disney Channel. And I was like, oh. But people were loving her album. And I was like, I guess I'll give it a shot. <laughs> but I did. I really liked it. I thought there were a few songs on there that I, you know, could get into. But this is one that I had heard. And I really liked this one. I think the verses and those kinds of parts are really good, really cool. I like the beat. I like the background of the music or of the song. It's very upbeat. It's very, like, happy. But then when you get to the chorus, it kind of slows down. But I kind of really like that. And I like what she's saying. Like, she's hooked on all these feelings. She's in the feels. Definitely a really good song. So check that one out. The next one I heard through Morgan Yates' channel, so thank you, Morgan, for this song. This one is called Truth Hurts by Lizzo, and just, like, listen to the words. It's, like, hysterical. It just turns out I'm 100% bad bitch. You could have had a bad bitch, non-committal. Hey, I'm glad you're back with your bitch. I mean, who would want to hide this? I will never, ever, 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 ever be your sidekick. I put this thing in single, and everybody will win. First of all, the attitude again is like out of this world. <laughs> There's just so much. I can't even like think about like what I want to talk about. First of all, the one part where she says, I will never ever, ever, ever be your side chick. I just like, oh, what? I love that part. And then she says, like, I want the singing single. That like, oh, what? That part is like the part that like caught me onto this song originally, just like that part. But the rest of it is so good. When the beat drops, like, oh, uh, it's just so good. And I love what she's talking about. Basically, like, I'm not going to be your side hoe. I'm not going to be your side chick and like you can do whatever you want but the truth hurts like this is where we're at <laughs> I just think it's I don't know really creative a really creative idea I love the song and yeah that's how I'm feeling 
Okay, I have one more song for you guys, one of the current songs I'm listening to. This song was actually just released today, so I don't know it that well, but I like really, really like it. It is called Let Me by Zayn, and like, I am a huge fan of Zayn. When I was studying abroad, the only album I listened to was his album. I was obsessed with that album. I'm thinking about making a video of like where I rank like my favorite albums or I talk about my favorite albums, so like comment down below or like this video if you want to see that. Just let me know. This is called Let Me by Zayn. It's like pretty simple to pick up on, so I'll try to sing the lyrics, but we'll see. <laughs> I don't know. I, blah, blah, blah. I know I don't know too many of the lyrics. TBH, I was just looking at genius <laughs> while that song was playing, so I could look up the lyrics and try to sing them a little bit. It's a really cute song. It's really sweet. Zane has always come out with the hits. I don't know. I think you have to give his album a chance, even if you like weren't a huge fan of him in One Direction or whatever. It's completely different from that sound. His album was more of like an R&B hip hop, and it was like, oh, it was really, really, really good. So this song is really cute. He's just saying like, let me be yours so that I can take care of you and I'll be faithful and all this stuff. I low-key think this is about Gigi. I know they just broke up, but like I feel like he might have written this about her and then kind of decided that he would release it to kind of like let her know that this is what he was thinking when they were in the relationship. And I don't know why they broke up. They were like one of my favorite couples. I think this song is sort of like an homage to her and trying to let her know like I was planning on and, like being yours forever I guess I don't know but it's a really cute song really sweet again the beat in the background is awesome it's just like one of those classic R&B songs um, it's a slow song but it's a jam like I just think his voice is just so good and like he could sing the alphabet and it would be like rude he could sing the alphabet and it would be like, amazing so I'm really happy for him and I love this song and I'm hoping he comes out with a second album because his first album was so so good it was like my obsession for weeks upon weeks so hoping he comes out with a new one okay so I have one last song it is my throwback song of the week started following this playlist called single and loving it basically one of the playlists that Morgan Yates started and she had it like in her last video or whatever and I started following it and I'm like obsessed with all of the songs that are on here. I think I'm gonna play No Scrubs by TLC because I actually saw the TLC movie last week and it was really good. It was just like the story about them and I like have been a fan of TLC for a really long time so I'm thinking this is the song I'm going with. I've never heard this! I don't what? I've never heard this! We need to talk about this for a second. What? I am in complete shock right now. I have never heard that verse of that song before, so I don't know what version this is, but apparently it's on another like single and loving it playlist, which like I had no idea. That is so weird. Wow, I did not know that was even a part. I wow, I'm kind of happy now because now I can learn like a whole new part of the song. Anyway, that is one of my all-time favorite songs, No Scars by TLC. I've loved that song for so long. I personally am a huge 90s fan. Love that music. Love that era. I am a 90s kid, so it's just, I don't know, it's just the best and it's hard to explain, but like they just had the best music then and oh my god, a bird almost flew in my window. <sighs> yeah, so that is just like one of my favorite songs and I am so like happy I could put it on this week's playlist and you don't know no scrubs what are you doing you need to get your life together and figure it out because this is just 
the ultimate jam, honestly. All right, guys, so that is it for this week's Songs of the Week video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am currently on vacation or coming back from vacation, so leave me some comments down below for me to read. Again, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and follow me down below on all my social medias. They are always linked down below, as well as my Songs of the Week playlist. I always put a link down below, and if you want to follow me on Spotify, I'm always listening to a ton of jams. Follow me down below, and I will see you guys next week for another video. Bye!